everyone, Josie here, live at 50 and beyond. Thanks for joining me here in my channel where you will find mostly affordable, practical, and easy DIYs. Today, I will be showing you a DIY where I'll be using these wooden boxes by Crafter Square that they sell at Dollar Tree. So they come in three different styles. As you can see, I have one here with the heart design and then the one in the middle is a butterfly design and then the other one is like a flower so i am going to be making a mini chest of drawers using these wooden boxes and i'm just trying to show you here that you know they can line up you can put them on top of each other next to each other and connect them i plan to use hot glue to connect them all together However, you can also use E6000 or any Stronghold glue like Fix All or wood glue since they're made of wood. So wood glue is perfect like this Gorilla wood glue. Perfect for connecting wood pieces together. So this style as it is already looks cute or adorable. But I'm thinking perhaps if you are not liking the design you can flip it over or reverse it and then use the back as the front and then you will have a solid front i'm using nine boxes i'm connecting three pieces together first and then i am going to be connecting the three sets together like so So here it is, how it looks like with the cutout at the front. So here I'm demonstrating how you can use this as is to organize your tea bags. So I folded the top of the tea bag because it is taller or higher than the box itself. The good thing about having that cutout at the front, you can see what you have inside, like this one separating them by flavor. So the cutout openings become the window so you can peek at what's inside. Now you can use this also to organize your craft items, the smaller ones, anything that can fit inside. So using this as is, you can use the hole to take out the boxes or the drawers from the cubby holes. If you want to use these boxes to organize smaller items like beads or buttons and you want to fill it all the way to the top, the items may fall through the holes. You can cover the hole with see-through plastic or acetate. So acetate or plastics that come in most packaging materials or product packagings like this one. As you can see, the acetate is covering or it's a packaging material for this hoop and loop aka velcro that they sell at dollar tree so i'm going to be removing it instead of throwing away the acetate i'm going to be using it so that i can seal the window or the cutouts to prevent things from falling off but at the same time i could still view what's inside because it is clear so i'm just cutting it to size and then i am going to be attaching it, making sure that it is covering or shielding the hole. I'm going to be using either hot glue or you can use also tape, clear tape to connect it or attach it to the inner part of the box or the drawer. And then I am just going to be showing you how I put smaller items like this jingle bells that I have on hand and then you will see that it's not going to fall off. And you can still pull it out even with the acetate on using the hole. Here I'm just going to show you an example of a drawer pull that you can use if you're going to reverse this. Instead of using the cutout as your front, 
you can use the solid and then attach any drawer pull that you may have. This one in particular I purchased at Amazon a while back and I figured why not use this here. Although at the end I'm going to be using purely Dollar Tree items so that it will be more accessible for you if you want to do this at a very affordable price. I will link in the description box below the Amazon link to this product. This is not sponsored but just in case you like the look, uh, you like this actually a lot and you can even put a label inside on what the content would be inside. So this is how I'm going to make it purely Dollar Tree item using this Jenga like or the Tumblr game blocks that they sell at Dollar Tree. This comes 36 in a pack and this is made of wood as well. Skip the cost down. This is one way that you can do this. You can just connect it here. You can hot glue it. Now I'm trying to kind of put it in a way where the narrow part of the block is the one that I'm going to be connecting to the front of the drawer. Like so. Now you can now use it to pull out the drawer. However, I figured it's protruding too much and maybe I need a flatter version than this because as you could see here on the side, yes, it's comfortable to pull it out, but it's protruding too much. So I'm going to be removing those and make it flatter like this one where the wider part is the part that I am going to hot glue on top of the solid front of each drawer. So just the same using my hot glue, I am going to connect the wider part on top of the flat or solid portion of my drawer. And I'm going to put them side by side so that you could see the comparison. And I'm just going to test it out and compare and you could still be able to pull it out and look at this by comparison the one here is protruding more than this one here and it's still comfortable to pull out the one that is flatter than the other one. So it's up to you which one is your preference. My preference is to make it flatter. And if I do it this way as opposed to the one where the narrower part is the one that's sticking out, I am able to still put a label on top of this wooden block. So I've decided that this will be my final drawer pull instead of using the brass pull. So this is its natural state and over time it will patina into probably a darker tone or hue. You can actually finish this with stain or you can spray paint it with any metallic color that you like and then embellish the drawer pulls with some gems or blings to make it more like glam. But I've decided to use my acrylic paint. This is an Apple Barrel Caribbean color that I got at Walmart. They do sell acrylic paints at Dollar Tree but they cost a dollar per bottle as opposed to buying at Walmart or Michaels and it'll only cost perhaps only 50 cents not even more than 50 cents a bottle. So I painted six of the drawers in the same color and I'm also painting the whole box itself in the same color as well. The same Caribbean blue color by Apple Barrel. And then I'm using this cotton buds just to paint the border 
And here I am using this Lime Aid by Apple Barrel as well. And I'm going to be painting the three boxes with this acrylic paint just so I have a dual tone, so to speak. If you notice the cubby holes, I didn't paint them anymore or the interior of each drawer, but you can paint it any color you like or with the same color if you want to paint the interiors as well. I'm saving materials. These are the places where they won't be seen anyway. So I've just painted the ones that you will see or even if you pull out the drawer, of course, you want to make sure that the back is painted. I didn't paint the bottom of each drawer as well. So here it is, my drawer chest organizer. And what's good about this is purely Dollar Tree materials. Again, you can buy the paint at Dollar Tree if you want to be pure Dollar Tree, but it's cheaper if you buy the paint at Walmart. So here I'm going to be putting again my tea bags. And like I said, if you want to label, add a label or a sticker or maybe print some labels from your printer and then just attach them to the flat part of the drawer and then you can identify the contents of each drawer. I am really loving the color combination a lot. If you've been following me here on my channel, I love this color blue here, this shade, and I also like that kind of shade of green. And here is my DIY floral arrangement. I created this just recently. I have a video which I'm going to be putting an iCard on the upper right hand corner. If you want to watch it, click that iCard. Also, there's a link in the description box below if you want to watch how I created that using only Dollar Tree materials as well. So imagine this on top of your desk or on top of your kitchen counter, perhaps at the corner of your kitchen counter. Look at how it works well. It coordinates with my retro style electric kettle. So if I'm going to prop this up because I really love to drink hot tea, then I can organize my tea bags there. So let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this organizer. I mean, oftentimes you see me assemble organizers from plastic bins that they sell at Dollar Tree. That's why I'm so excited about this wooden blocks or wooden cubes that they sell at Dollar Tree because I've been wanting to create something like this, a small chest of drawers to corral items. The possibilities are endless in this cute and functional organizer. You can expand this up or wider, just add more boxes. You can also put a couple of hooks at the back so that you can hang it on the wall if you want to free up some valuable counter space. So this will be perfect also in a tiny home organization if you live in one or if you are living in a dorm where you have limited space. I hope you enjoyed this video everyone. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it to anyone who may be interested in this type of organizer. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. And don't forget to click that notification bell icon so that you will not miss any of my new uploads. Have a great day, everyone. God bless, and I'll talk to you again on my next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.